called us meeting to order. Uh, Councillor Sackle and uh, the Mayor send their regrets. Uh, moved by Councillor Memorial, seconded by Councillor Deloria, resolved that the agenda for the August 2, 21st, 2018 regular meeting of Council be received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Moved by Councillor Morial, seconded by Councillor Deloria, resolved that the minutes of the August 7, 2018 meeting of Council be adopted as received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, so we have some uh, correspondence here from the school division, an uh, invitation to come together as uh, uh, the G5 to uh, discuss uh, the proposal of the provincial boundary review. Uh, so I guess basically we just have to respond to them then who would like to attend uh, this meeting uh, which will be held on August 27th at 6 o'clock at the division office. Uh, we have to respond by um, Thursday, 23rd. So. Julie, I guess who wants to the Council of Glory? I would, I would like to attend. Okay. Anybody else? I can go there. I'm, I'm Council, definite, maybe. Council White and uh, Council Morio, and myself as well. Okay, next item on the agenda here is the um, property tax list. So <clears throat> you can see that. Moved by Councilor Morio, seconded by Councilor Glory. Resolved that. 2018 tax sale be held at 2 p.m. on September the 12th, at 2018. That the 2017 be the designated year, as the year which properties, the taxes in respect of which in the rears for the year, be offered for sale by auction to recover the tax rears and costs. And further be resolved that the town of Swan River place a reserve bid on all properties up to the amount of tax rears and costs. Discussion, Councillor Delorier. This list is considerably longer than any I've seen in the past, and I see they're all roughly at the same addresses. This, the most most of them are from the their empty lots from the trailer park over there. Okay. Council Morio. Asked and answered already. Okay, Council White. Okay. All in favor? Opposed. Okay, we'll move right ahead to the uh, Superintendent of Public Works report, discussion, right there. Councillor Deloria. How, uh, can you give us a recap on how the big pavement projects went? I, I left town and we had gravel, I came back and we had pavement, so um, the, was any issues, everything went on schedule, on budget, are we, any, uh, uh, anything, deficiencies we've got to go back and fix up? Not great now on their part for deficiencies. They did a good job. Uh, we will have some extras for uh, some base work. Like through the winter, we would add a base and stuff like that. They had to grade and haul some gravel away, but I don't think that will be too significant. Uh, everything went well, other than, of course, when we were landscaping our our own guys, we made a little mishap in, in landscaping. Uh, just a bucket made some marks on the top lift on 12th Avenue South that we made them aware of and we are not too, obviously not too happy of, but they've, they realize what they've done and the future uh, won't do it again. <coughs> Councillor White. Uh, I'm talking to a CN guy and relative to the culvert south of town that we've had the issue with the flooding. The individual suggested to me that if clean drive and nothing in it. He said he looked right through it. Could he be looking at the wrong culvert? No, then he's got the right one and it is dry right now, but uh, it's when it's when we have those heavy rains. We, you know, it wasn't too bad of a spring this year, but we have those heavy rains and, and when we have, when it's springtime and flooding season, we just have the, the, the record of the one side being 15 feet higher than the other. And so the it's not a plug right. issue at all? No. Well, that's a story I've been sharing for five years. What are we going to unplug? Nobody's ever said it's not a plug issue to me ever. 
Okay, no. Derek it's has mentioned morning. quite a few times that it's not a plug issue, it's a size issue. It's a size issue. So we have an extra culvert or a bigger culvert. <coughs> so well, where, where is the high side? On the west. So the water can't get into it to drain down? It does drain, just not enough. Okay. Second, second question? Go ahead. What are we making up with our wells? Uh, right now, we have the material in hand. We're just scheduling the rig to come back and uh, get the job done. When I was away, the, the contractor just outright ordered the wrong material. And uh, well, there's two issues. It was broken when it got here, so uh, he broke it. So even if he did order the right material, it would have been broken and we wouldn't allow him to install it. So this would have happened either way. But uh, material's in hand, and we're just scheduling the rig. And the uh, preemptive date, I guess, is uh, uh, possibly tomorrow for moving up here, getting down on Thursday. Perfect. Thank you. That is not perfect. Perfectly works. The, well, oh, sorry, Council Moria? Um, just looking at your report here, and it says like the cabin project, so it may believe that they're completed the remaining asphalt projects and then i engineering. It says contacting may believe regarding remaining asphalt patches. It's like that's the, been completed and gone too. That is complete, yeah. It's just work that uh, has been done prior. I'm pretty sure Darren did some of this report up and he did it throughout the week. Okay. Councilor Galarian. How are we doing on the design for the Lack of better term, the instrumentation on the new on the well site and all that. It was tendered uh, last week. Okay. And it'll be due on the 28th. Okay. So that's next Tuesday. So at the next council meeting, council will see their numbers. Okay. And uh, we go from there, and I can explain exactly what we're going to get. Okay. Councillor. <coughs> uh, just kudos to the uh, staff out at the cemetery. Um, they're taking really good care of the flowers, and I'm glad to see that they're fixing that hedge because I've had a few people comment on the fact that it needs to be trimmed or something done with it, and I see it's being done. So thanks. Yes. So Derek, then on the well site, you mentioned the, uh, some parts arriving damaged or a little incorrect, whatever. That didn't have any further cost. To us, uh, the twenty eighth is the day uh, that we can still go after penalties, I guess. And if there are any costs due to those delays, like overhead costs, even engineering costs, we can pass those along and uh, subtract them from the contract amount. And we'll hold that to them. Uh, we will, as long as there's overhead costs. The twenty eighth of August. Yeah, because we, we weren't. We technically couldn't tell him go until June 28th, and it is a 60-day contract. Okay, good. Uh, one other question I had was the uh, back alley project and all that, that you're still being able to uh, tackle that sometime in yeah. earlier, mid-fall or something? Definitely. That is going to happen. Okay. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Councilor Moore. Um, with the ferric sulfate at the lagoon, now that we went to a different supplier, and after that last application, it shows that it dropped the levels well below the regulated levels. So um, we have noticed a significant difference. The the application that we first <coughs> changed over it take uh, several times, like several applications, but not four. So we have noticed a significant difference. It is summertime and it's been windy, so it's uh, agitating it up. That's right. It's, it's, <coughs> the lagoon is treating really well right now but we'll see in the fall if, it, uh, if the, it's a better supplier with better product than the previous yes okay so moved by councillor white second by councillor freeze result of the superintendent of works report be received any further discussion all in favor opposed minutes any questions to Julie on that we don't Sorry, have any there's none posted there oh there was there might be some on on that but uh, yeah we'll post uh, whatever hasn't been posted on that so. okay 
All right, so we'll move along to council member and CEO reports. And Julian, I'll start with you. but I do have some reminders. Um, Star Times column is coming up next week, August 28th. I was wondering if you guys had decided. Will we have up? another opportunity before the 24th? When does the next one come up? Um, yeah, we'll probably have another one before. Yeah, the next one is the day before election. I'll volunteer for that one. I don't know. I don't think they should give us a call on that week. <laughs> that would kind of be unfair. That's what I <laughs> I did the last one, and if I remember right, Uncle Jacobson had put his hands up. So, he got... so that's for next week, you said? Yeah, it was done by Friday. Yeah, it has to be done this week. What kind of some lights that he wanted to do it? I could do it by Friday. Okay, you know what? Okay, you're going to do it then? Yep. Okay. And then um, there's an August 29th meeting, um, discussion of the updates to the Swan Lake Watershed Conservation District. That meeting is um, at 1 p.m. on August 29th. So I was just wondering if anybody was wanting to go out. I'll be away. Yeah, during the day. August the 29th. Do you have a time? 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. I'll have to get back to you to see okay. what it works like. I'm going to tell this right now. Okay. Also on August 29th at 5 p.m., that's the uh, day of the AMM visit, the AMM executive. So I just wanted to remind you of that as well. So 5 p.m. here on August 29th, if you can make it. I should be able to make that. Okay. On the last uh, invitation that you had there, you should maybe send out an email maybe to the mayor and also to okay. Councillor Sackle just reminding if they want to attend that or not. Okay. It's here, do you know? Yeah. Five o'clock. Five o'clock, okay. And that's it. Okay, Councillor Friesen. <coughs> I have nothing to report. Okay, thank you. Councillor White. It was really uh, easy two weeks. Uh, I had the, uh, the pleasure of working with this district relative to uh, vandalism concerns. I had the opportunity to intervene for him, and I want to thank publicly Kenny Colcott, who's jumped right up to try to help him and the local RCMP that they have held. And uh, the area where the concerns are having are rental homes, and Ken Koka thinks he can drop a note off to the owners of the rental homes saying there is a concern. And the RCMP have been over there, so it's kind of nice having the support of our staff and the local RCMP, and I compliment both teams for that. And today I had the pleasure of uh, meeting with the, uh, the CEO of the uh, Credit Union, the co-op rather, with the Council of Morello. And please feel free to add, uh, they're trying to design an entity, an organization which will look after things like uh, crime prevention will be part of it, shoplifting will be part of it, health care, somewhat similar to a Chamber of Commerce to work in concert with the Chamber of Commerce, certainly not in opposition to them. And look at the value added things like health safety, risk protection, uh, and then they would do that, they would coordinate that process and hopefully be part of the Chamber of Commerce. So uh, it was a really informative meeting for me and the, the new uh, guy, who they were Derek Armstrong, who was, was going to head that up in risk management, basically. Things like LP could work for it, the credit union itself, our town employees. So they're going to come uh, hopefully sooner than later and meet with our council and talk about this concept. What did I miss? Pretty much it. Okay. Thank you. Is that everything? Yeah. Huh? Councillor Delorier. I've been in jolly old England for the last month, so I have nothing town related to report. Did you say hello to the Queen for us? I said hello to Her Majesty, yes. Okay, okay. okay. Councillor Morial. Um, 
this period um, on August 11th um, at the I attended and brought greetings on behalf of the town um, for Glenn or uh, Mackenzie uh, while he was away uh, to the Northwest uh, Métis Council's uh, annual regional meeting uh, which was well attended um, there so they moved their meeting around their region uh, every year and this year it was at the Friendship Centre so where they uh, discuss and pass their resolutions and bring their things forward um, to the end of their uh, provincial annual convention. So it was good to see that many people there and chat with many faces. Um, and then today also with uh, Councillor White, uh, we met with uh, Colin Peterson and Brett Armstrong from the co-op um, with regards to that program where they uh, designed it previously up in an area in southern Manitoba where they had called it the SAFE program, but what they look at is best practices um, from different organizations where they share ideas, share best practices where they can get onto like loss prevention, injury prevention, health and safety, all those types of things. Um, instead of everybody people working against each other or in different scenarios, that here it's a, a network where they can all work together to have a common goal and have similarities amongst um, all partners. For example, like loss prevention where uh, for example, the co-op and Extra Foods has their own policies and stuff like that. They mirror them together and stuff like that where they make linkages that if they see suspects or shoplifters in one store, they can quickly communicate to the other stores that X individuals are in town or whatever. And this is their um, their motive or their and things like that and they can pass. So, uh, they've already had initial conversations with a number of businesses and the RCB in town, which was uh, they had a lot of great uptake and there was already other businesses wanting to join in and stuff like that so to have like a unified loss protection or loss uh, protection best practice in the town where it's like uh, where they were saying um, the town is unified against shoplifting and all that stuff and they're all following the same model um, to, to combat this and stuff like that so and to become a leader in versus um, where other communities where it's taken hold and it's a systemic problem here. It's just uh, the message is um, for like in that topic was take your business somewhere else because we don't want your shoplifting in our town but we want you and then but then promote other safe practices like health and safety and um, fire prevention and all those things and emergency response plans and all that stuff. So um, so it's Brent Armstrong, he's there, the new uh, loss prevention officer at the Swan Valley Co-op, which he had background in that from his previous workplaces when he was down in Morton and Winkler and those areas, so he wants to bring that up here, bring that expertise. So, um, and then I've been meeting with uh, a number of residents down on the south end of town regarding the, the street work and things like that with some of their concerns and stuff like that and bringing them forward to administration to deal with and explaining some of the processes and that, so um, that's all I got. It's good to hear that the co-op is, you know, kind of taking the lead on that. Mm -hmm. You know, they're a big community leader and uh, our valuable partner in our community, so it's, it's good to hear that they're looking at, uh, you know, gathering other businesses together with them to fight the problem of, of uh, <coughs> all the challenges that we have with <coughs> loss prevention and so on. Um, just a little few things for me that I have come across and one was uh, a letter that I noticed today from the Thompson Chamber of Commerce and that had to do with the uh, the lack of uh, or the closing of the Churchill rail line uh, and the slow growth of it being sold you know to whoever, whatever partner all the tracks can sell it to and, and how and a huge impact it's having on not only just in the Churchill area but Thompson and always as far as, as the pond and perhaps even here. So they had a letter there that they had sent out to the province of the federal government to challenge them or to lobby them to, to get this problem taken care of as soon as possible. So I don't know, I'll maybe speak with the mayor tomorrow and ask him if he can put a letter together and, and, and share the same concerns uh, to, uh, um, to the people in the north, you know, Churchill and, and Thompson and the pond areas. Um, I also had a s small meeting with a concerned resident yesterday in regards to the province's 
uh, I guess, move towards more centralization of positions and so forth, uh, you know, in government areas, through, you know, in, in some smaller areas, including ours, are losing, um, you know, jobs and positions and so forth, and they're concerned. One of them had been definitely as the possibility of our courthouse eventually closing, so I think that that's something that we need to discuss with uh, uh, our MLA and, and with the government to make sure that we do not uh, lose that because I think that you know we, we definitely unfortunately have crime but um, we need to have those people uh, serviced in, in, the, in our community rather than elsewhere. Um, something that I did bring up with Derek a little while ago and, and something that I'd like to see the building committee, committee look at and that is the, I've received some complaints about um, when we uh, when new people are building houses in Swan River, um, there's no real uh, measurement, I guess, as far as how the heights of basements and all that are, are done. And I think that maybe we should relook at that again, uh, just for consistency and, and so forth. That's not that's just my opinion. The building committee may we just say no, we're not going to look at that and leave it be. But that's just my uh, my thoughts. I think it was something that was there in the 80s, I think at one point in time, in the North End especially, where everything seems to be very consistent there. And uh, and of course, just um, keeping on track of buildings coming into Swan River and residential areas that if they are, you know, older homes, not new homes, but older homes that are coming in, that they are, uh, maybe have some certain specs. And I know that we did have something there, but some times I think we need to keep on top of that a little bit more just uh, to uh, keep those people to uh, keep our areas looking good and, and tidy. So anyways, that was my my board. So, so we'll move on. Uh, we have a uh, resolution moved by Councilor Deloria, second by Councilor Morio, resolved that the accounts of, as hereby approved for payment, general accounts from check number 22861 to number 22932 for a total of $333,428.98 and payroll accounts from check number 4284 to number 4293 for a total of $120,165.02. Any discussion? You've had the CFO's check explanations. It's a little bit longer this time, so Hopefully it answers most of the questions. So, so any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Moved by Councillor Deloria, second by Councillor Moore, resolve that whom be authorized to attend the Manitoba Electoral Division's Boundary Commission's public hearing being held in Dauphin on September the 13th, 2018. Who would like to attend that? Did the mayor say anything that he wanted to attend that at all? I would like to say I could, but I just took quite a bit of time off work. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that uh, off work. I think that there should be probably some representation mm -hmm. there. You could put my name down and I'll try and get time off. You can put me as tentative too and see if I can get the day off. Do you have a start time on that meeting? Yeah. You I'll can have just email to, to us. Yeah, I'll have to look. I can uh, I didn't see maybe make it to check on that the last time. If you do the three of us, one of us should be able to make yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all in favor? Opposed? Moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Fries, and resolved that Derek Poole and Jordan Rooks be authorized to attend the Western Canada Water Conference and Trade Show held in Winnipeg from September the 18th to the 21st. Discussion. Derek, I guess my question would be, like, did you, you attend these every single year? Uh, not the Western Canada Water ones, the Manitoba ones we do, but when, we, when the Western Canada Water Conference is in Winnipeg, we do send some reps, okay. and me being on the Manitoba Water Wastewater Board of Directors, uh, I would like to be there. Okay, <clears throat> okay all in favor? Opposed? Okay. 
moved by Councilor Deloria, second by Councilor Morio, resolve that the Chief Financial Officer be authorized to sign the scheduled work agreement with, with App Team as Schedule A in the amount of $8,600 plus applicable taxes. Julie, you want to expand on that a little bit? Um, we're going to get some official training for our accounting software program for the new staff. We have two new staff, and then our existing staff also need training in other in other areas of the accounting software program. So, and also our chief financial officer is going to take the training as well. So, there's going to be lots lots of them involved. I think it would be well worth the money spent to have everybody educated. Uh, how many so days? Um, I tried to look through it and find it. I couldn't yeah. see it. I think it's originally. I think, I think it's, it's like, like a schedule, isn't it? And if it takes, like they say, two days, is it a two day? Thing? Yeah, I thought it's it's but more than just one day. Mm -hmm. You know, it, so well, it is it, is it consecutive it days? I believe so. Will it, will it, and the office of the office will be closed. No, well, no, we'll remain open. We'll, we'll school around the front desk uh, yourself, or yeah, someone okay. will be here to run it. Yeah, okay. we'll be fine. It's slower right now, so okay. we're really busy. And, uh, is I know, like Derek's main purview is not accounting, but they need to have some accounting knowledge. Or is it something that they should be involved in as well? Or um, I guess they can be pulled in if it concerns them. Yeah, yeah. There's some areas, but see, we only have we only have a certain number of users that use the accounting software. So the engineering department, you know, has never been a user okay. on the software. Is, so is Diamond the same software that we use for the water billing? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. And we also use Net Neptune for the readings and then it merges into yeah. Diamond. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Close. Okay. <coughs> Moved by Councillor Deloria, second by Councillor Morio, resolved that the letter of retirement attached as Schedule A be received. Um, that attachment, I guess we can say, is as the resignation of Julie. That will be uh, the date will be October the 26th. Yes. So, on behalf of Council and, and the Mayor, I thank you for your, your time and. And uh, wish you well in all of your future endeavors and successes, and and your grandchildren as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. So, any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Under duress. <laughs> Under duress. <laughs> Opposed. <laughs> Moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Friesen, resolved that Phil Friesen and who else will be authorized to attend the Manitoba Communities in Bloom annual conference and awards being held in Morris on September the 7th and 8th. Councillor Friesen, do you have uh, any others that have stepped up that would like to attend with you? I do have someone who would like to attend with me. Okay. Want her name? Evelyn Emmaker. Oh, nice. I have the amount, Julie, I can give to you. You probably need two checks, one for registration, one for the hotel. Or should I get the hotel to just bill the town? Yeah, it would be good if you could have them direct bill us for that. Okay. And then I'll, I'll print it off the registration form as well. So did you, did you have a copy of the registration form? I do at home. Oh, I've got one here. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, so the resolution to add Evelyn Emmaker. Any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay. Moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Friesen. Resolved that pursuant to Section 152.3 of the New Civil Act, Council going to committee and close the meeting to the public. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.